Sandra! Hi, Ted. What are those people doing? Got no idea. All I've managed to find out is their local iwi. Well, how long have they been here? Since yesterday. Just standing there. Tell you what, they've got the guys spooked. Hey, weren't we supposed to bowl that yesterday? Well, that was the plan. Well, what's the delay? We were just about to level it when the bulldozer broke down. That's twice in two days. We need to move this thing along fairly quickly, Ted. Being fixed as we speak. Okay, keep me up to date. See you later. Sandra! Sandra! Katerina! Sandra Edmonton. Well, I never. It's been years. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question. Surprised to see you on that side of the fence. You're part of this. Oh, it's my job. I'm overseeing this project. So you're where the buck stops? <laughs> Not quite. It certainly crosses my desk. So what are you and the others doing here? Waiting. For what? Kia ora, Katarina. How's your day been? Good so far. That'll be your office. Can I have a word with you? Hello. His name's Temuera Ratanui. He's a lawyer representing the local iwi and he's filed an injunction against the demolition of the cottage under the Historic Places Act of all bloody things. But we've already been through the whole consultation process. Can't just change their minds. Well, they have. God, I can't believe this. I made provision for the employment of iwi. I've already contracted the Māori artists. I've been on the phone to the investors all morning. So when the injunction won't stick, you own the land. Damn right. It's been in my family for generations. Well then. And you say there's nothing historically significant about the house. No. So they haven't got a case. Even so, this is a very delicate situation, Sandra. Everything's riding on it. That casino must be built. We can't afford any more delays. This injunction holds. We'll both be down the road. Chill out, Sarwin. I've put too much work into this project to see it fail. There's no way I'm going to let these people do this. Hey, hello. Tim Oweda Ratinu. We met. Yesterday. At the site. Sandra. Yes, sorry. Sandra Edmonton. Come on, Ratinui. You know this whole injunction thing is a sham. This cottage has no historical significance whatsoever. 
Maybe things don't seem very clear at the moment, but once the truth comes out, everybody is going to get a clearer picture of the historical events. Yeah, well, I don't need a picture. I own the land. Granted, you have title. That cottage holds huge cultural significance for my clients. Well, fine, I can have it. You pay for it to be loaded on the truck. There's a little bit more to it than that. Yeah? Like the fact that this is just some tactic to delay the development. Excuse me, gentlemen. What do you really want right now? As far as the truth would be nice, you have no idea of the cultural significance of that. Got anything in first aid I can put on this? On what? On this? There's nothing there. Did you bang it on something? Yeah, something like that. Suits you. What did he just say to me? Oh, I didn't hear, sorry. It's a bit of a light though, isn't he? Hello? Thought you might ring me. I was just about to. Have you eaten yet? Sorry? Would you care to join me for dinner? I'm pleased you called. I wanted to ask you something. Why are you ready for the answer? Don't you ever stop? Ah, uh, please, sorry. Fire away. Well, when you left the office today, you said something to me. What was it? At reception, remember? Oh, yes. It suits you. You see it, don't you? No. What? Well, you know, you said it suits me. I meant your office. Where you work, you know, you looked right at home, that whole corporate thing. It suits you. Okay, it doesn't suit you? Uh, sorry, it's not that. I mean, thank you for noticing. I do love my work. <laughs> yes, you have quite the rep as the corporate whip. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the topic of work. It's okay. I actually don't mind talking about it. Eh, I prefer we didn't. Well, that'd be because you've got an injunction out on the land we're developing. We don't have to talk about this, here or anywhere else. Yes, we do. You know, this land has clear and confirmed title. Harrison's probably convinced himself of that. We have evidence to the contrary, and I know he knows that. We have done everything by the book. Trying to stop us from building the casino is clearly abuse of legitimate grievances, which... Are... Sandra! Hello? 
The injunction's been thrown out. What? Get into the office. We're having a few champagnes to celebrate. I have to pass, so I'm not feeling that flash. <gasps> Look, I just wanted to apologise about before. Now it's not a good time. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. We have evidence in the form of a letter that was written by a Pākehā soldier over a hundred years ago to his family back in England. Please, I... It was written over a hundred years ago. But, Sandra, the events it depicts will sink your case. Please. Can we talk about this tomorrow? Yeah, sorry. This is the property of the Crown. You were told to leave and now you're trespassing. Come in. 
It's all good news. The, the partners are happy. No more delays. It's all going ahead. The Maris have been put in their place, yeah? And that uh, lawyer, he thought he had us, but it is full steam ahead. Cheers, great granddaddy. They say he was a murderous old bastard, but I owe him everything I've got. Cheers, Sandra. Here's to life. It couldn't be better. Project's been put on hold until such time as the affairs of Sow and Harrison developments have been sorted out. It's best to let everyone know they can go home now. Wait, wait. What happened? <sighs> Mr. Harrison died last night. What? Are you going to be okay? Fano, fano, hoki atura kwe kui, hoki atura kwe kahurangi, home ye, ui ye, tai ki ye.
Can I help you? No, I was just leaving. Don't I know you? Well, <laughs> we could have met once. But I doubt whether you would have recognised me back then. Kia ora. I'm Timuera Ratanui. Sandra Edmonton. Actually, my real name's Kahurangi. Really? But you probably knew that. Well, I had my suspicions. Natural instincts of a lawyer, I suppose. No, no. Natural instincts of a Māori. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, suits you. Thank you. <laughs>